We went to the pattern sale over the weekend doing Butterick and Vogue. So I'm going to share you share with you guys what I picked up. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the three Vogue and the three Butterick patterns that I picked up over the weekend during the sale. All right now if you are new to the channel welcome. Hello ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sambanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. If you are returning you guys know what to do. Quick snack, something to drink, grab the notebooks. You will need them. Maybe you won't but it's only six, so grab your notebooks anyway right now, all right? But in order to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point, give you all the deets and the news that you can use in this video, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I picked up three Butterick, I'm sorry, two Butterick's and three Vogue's. Let me correct that. Two Butterick's and three Vogue patterns, so five patterns total, all right? Now, outside, before I share the patterns that I picked up with you guys, I'm going to share what else I picked up at Joann's. Now, I get my inter interfacing in bulk because I use a lot of interfacing. So I'm just going to share that with you guys. So the first one that I picked up because it was 50% off is the Fusible Featherweight and Style 911FF, okay? 91FF, I'm going to put it up on the screen, but it is the Fusible Featherweight. So this is the first one that I picked up. Now... When you pick it up in bulk, make sure that the plastic is on it because if it's not, that means a couple of yardages have been cut. For those who picks up three yards or four yards of interfacing, I pick up the bulk because I don't want nothing to be cut, all right? So that's the first one that I picked up. And the second one that I picked up, this one is the Apparel Interfacing Basic P. 4P as in Peter, 44F as in fish. So Papa 44 Foxtrot, if you're military, you know what I mean. Uh, fusible interfacing. So PFF, I'm, I'm sorry, P44F, which I'm gonna put up on the screen, is the other one that I picked up. Boom. All right. So both of them together, um, they were 50% off. So one was like, I think one of them were was like $30 and the other one was like $50 for $80, but then I received $15 off of $75. So I ended up paying for both of those like 50 bucks or something like that. All right, now let's go ahead and get into the patterns that I picked up. I'm gonna start with the Butterick patterns and then I'll get over to Vogue. So the first one that I picked up is basically, you guys know I have a sew along for this one. I needed a fresh copy. We talked about the vest and that's what I want to do, redo the vest, all right? So it's Butterick 6901, complete sew along for this as well. And I do wanna give a shout out to my girl, Chris, my sew sister, as well as my veteran sister who sews. All right, so um, Chris, her Instagram handle is I am craft therapy and veterans who sew. Um, this pattern helped her. So my sew along helped her create the vest that she did um, on her Instagram. Now, you guys know the vest came out super duper cute, but I, I was so excited and did not cut the right sides. And even though I made the pictures work, it looked like for somebody who's a teenager, okay? So I'm gonna recreate the vest. Again, I needed a fresh new copy because I did not trace the pattern pieces to be 100% honest with you. So that's where we are. But this one is Butterick 6901 and I think the plus size is 6902. I'll put both of those patterns up on the screen so you're able to see that. But that's the first pattern that I picked up. Just a fresh new copy of that pattern. The second pattern that I picked up, Butterick 6768. So you guys know over the weekend, last weekend, I dropped the battle of the shirt dress. So this one will be great to use as the Butterick top or whatever, because it is a button down shirt. So if you missed that video, I'll put it up on the screen as well as in the description box below and on the end screen on your way out, you can see this. But this one came out in summer 2020. I don't know why I didn't pick it up, but then again, it was COVID, so that's probably why I didn't pick it up, but it's Butterick 6768. 
Now let's get over to the Vogue patterns. Interesting patterns, okay? So, <laughs> we just talked about how Battle of the Shirt Dresses is here. The shirt or shirt dresses, I should say. And two of the patterns, I was thinking of possibly doing these two for Vogue Battle of the Shirt Dress, okay? Shirt or shirt dress, I should say. First pattern is Vogue 1769. And what I find interesting is this pussy bow button down shirt, but also have the ruffles right here. I'm hoping you can see that the lights are not picking it up too much, but I'm going to put it up on the screen. Now I do not like that ruffle area right at the front. I can leave that off, but I do like the pussy bow. I like the pussy bow. Okay. So that's what I'm here for view a, but I think what I'm going to do is view. I don't know if I want the ruffles, but I think the ruffles will be a good detail. As long as I do it in a solid, I think that would be an amazing uh, detail for this uh, top. You can extend it and make it a dress as well if you want to, but this is Vogue 1769. Now, this one is just basically a loose fitting blouse, has stand collar, extended, extended shoulders, bit front, long sleeve gathered into the button cuff. I hate when they say that because it's just long sleeves with, with the cuff. It's better to say that instead of all of that jumble that they have you say. But anyway, it's a shaped hem with narrow hem as well. You can use crepe, rayon chalet or cotton shirt. And for this one, the only notion you need is 10 um, 3 8 inch buttons, which in my case is half inch buttons because I don't buy 3 8 inch buttons, but that's what I would be using for this one. But once again, it's 1769. Now going back to this Butterick 67, 68 pattern, um, in terms of notions, you're going to just need some single fold bias tape if you are doing view A. If you are doing view B, it's a no notion pattern. I thought it had buttons, but it doesn't. But this would be a no notion pattern um, at all unless you are doing view A, you need single fold bias tape. Um, also with this, if you don't like that single fold bias tape like your girl, I do have a video on how to dry facing, so you can go to that. I'll drop it on the end screen as well as in the description box below. Let's get over to the second Vogue pattern, which is 1707. Okay, so I love this blazer. It was staring me in my face, but I also like the shorts um, there. I could basically see myself doing B and D or A and C. So either one, you can't go wrong there. This is an easy to sew pattern. It's a fitted line vest, has length variation. Loose fitting pants have the front pleats, a mock fly zipper, which means a fake fly front, okay? And it has slant pockets. Um, so <laughs> for this one, you do not need to do a fly front zipper you it's, it's, it's a fake one okay <laughs> just to give you that detail all right now in terms of notions you would so in terms of fabric let's do fabrics first linen blends gabardine tropical wool i never heard of tropical wool but i'm just gonna say wool um for this pattern in terms of notions for the vest which is a or b you need five one inch zippers and then you need some fusible interfacing remnants. And then in terms of the shorts or the longer pants, which is C and D, you will need a seven inch zipper and then one, one half inch button. And then you'll need a couple of one hook and eye closure for the waistband closure. But other than that, this is a good pattern. It's 1707. Next pattern is 1678. Great for battle of the shirt dress. Boom, 1678, you guys know I had this in mind once I dropped the video, I already knew what patterns I was gonna pick up. All right, so this one is, okay, so I have a video similar to this, a pattern that's similar to this, I did a sew along for is Simplicity 9106, which is an asymmetrical style top. This one reminds me of that exact same pattern, but the only difference is this one is in the Vogue pattern, 1678. So this one is a loose fitting shirt. It has collar and collar band, asymmetrical button closure and length variations. In terms of fabric, you can use poplin, broadcloth, cotton, um, chambray, 
gingham, just to name a few. I think I kind of want to do stripe, but I might do it in just plain. I'm not sure, 100% sure. In terms of notions, if you do view A, which is the red one right here, you need 10 5 8 inch buttons. If you do view B, which is the longer view right here, you need 12 5 inch buttons. But I thought this one, oh, this one is rated as easy to sew. Easy to sew? Mm, okay, whatever. Uh, but I do like this one for sure. Um, but those are everything that I picked up over the weekend doing the Butterick and Vogue sale. Please note that starting today, Thursday, March the 14th, when you're seeing this, right? Simplicity is now on sale at your local Joann's for $1.99. Now I wanna put this caveat in. Some Joann's will not have the sign on the table. Go to the pattern drawer, then go to the cutting counter and have them scan in your local Joann's to see if they're $1.99. In addition, New look is normally on sale, and yes, keyword, normally on sale with simplicity. Same thing, have them scan the white envelope. I don't have one, I'm gonna put one up on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. The white envelopes normally ring it up as $1.99. The ones with the green, red, yellow stripes at the front, they normally do not ring up as $1.99. They normally ring up as $3.99. But my advice to you is always have the cutting counter or someone in the store scan it instead of going up to the register and every last pattern is $3.99. Sometimes they do not have, because short staffing, they do not have the signs up, which sometimes when I do a visual, the sign is not up or it's an old sign, one or the other, but I like to provide you guys with those visuals if I have them, all right? Or if I've been in a store myself to see what is currently on sale, if I'm showing you guys the current sale, it's because I verified with my own eyes, all right? Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. And what do you girl have on today in terms of this jacket? It's a waterfall jacket that I created for BHM back in 2022. It is McCall 7635. I will go ahead and link that pattern in the description box below. I believe you could still get that pattern. I believe it's still in print as well. All right, well, that's it for this video. Until next time. Peace out.